The INEC chairman also urged uh, eligible voters who are yet to get their permanent voter cards that they will be given their PVCs before the expiration of the time frame for collection. He mentioned that people who applied for a transfer due to the change of location will only get their PVCs at their new location where they will also vote and not at the point where they applied. So the position of law remains that unless you are resident in Nigeria, you cannot register and you cannot vote. But I'm absolutely convinced that it's only a matter of time when this will be achieved. Voting by those in the diaspora, as far as we are concerned, should be a settled issue. And if you ask me whether I support it or not, I will tell you that you are preaching to the converted. But the commission doesn't have the power to make it happen. The enabling law will have to be uh, provided for it to happen. Not just because of the remittances, because I've had people talk about the remittance by Nigerians in the diaspora, and therefore they should be given the right to vote. I think it's because they are citizens, and citizens must enjoy rights. Uh, it's not about means. Otherwise, the richest person in a country will probably have two votes, but he has only one, he has only one vote. So it's a matter of right. Uh, it's not a matter of uh, the contribution that they make. But of course, the nation appreciates the contribution that those in the diaspora make. You talked about the challenge of uh, PVC collection. You know, the number of PVCs we have uncollected is historical, it's cumulative. It goes back to 2011. So much of the cards that are collected are actually from recent registration. So what we need to do after um, the election is to sit down with stakeholders and look at this matter thoroughly. Are these cards actually at the end of the day collectable or will just keep carrying them forward with every election and they are not collected? But the uh, historical cards um, are not collected as many as the more recent, more recent registrations. Isaac, uh, assurance to every citizen that there will be free and fair election. Election is a multi-stakeholder activity. INEC has been giving you these assurances. I think we have demonstrated this, um, particularly in some of the more recent elections. And that is what we are going to carry forward to the general election. Uh, so as far as the Electoral Commission is concerned, that one is a no-go area. The votes cast by citizens should determine who becomes whatever in our country and in our democracy. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.